What is up few fanatics and welcome back to another video in this video as you could probably already tell we're going to be creating what we created in our last video but in Vue.js. So in our previous video we created a React.js accordion um, menu similar to this um, but this time we're going to do it in Vue.js because a lot of people really want to see Vue.js and if it's Vue.js something you want to see a lot more of in the future then we'll do more Vue.js because I know version 3 is coming out. Um, or more features anyway, and that will be something, to, something awesome to cover in the future. So without further ado, let's get started. So again, it's the same deal for people who don't want to watch the React video. We have, um, again, a basic header, don't worry about that. Um, we have this um, accordion, so you can click the uh, menu to open it up to, it's like an FAQ page, by the way, um, and then we get uh, we have a question and then the answer and then we click the next one it will close the one with the other ones which are open um, so it's so you so you're focused on one you could turn this feature off very easily it's literally one line of code so we can change that um, and um, also you've got this nice little SVG animating up and down um, this arrow uh, which is pretty awesome too so let's continue on so first things first, we need to set up a new project. So let's move this, turn it into a little phone size device and pull it over to the right of the screen. Let's bring our terminal for it. And I don't know why I cleared, there was nothing there to clear. Why did I do that guys? I don't know. So to do this, you need the few uh, CLI installed. Um, if you don't know how to install the few CLI, you should probably Google it, but um, few CLI on Google you know top one uh, there was an installation there get started and it will tell you that to install it it will tell you how to install it somewhere there you go npm install hyphen g few CLI or you can use yarn of course once you have installed it um, we can then crack on so I'm going to do few fee Oh, version, sorry, I need to do that again. Few hyphen capital fee, and I'm using version 3.10 just so you know. Now, to do this, we're going to say few create and then we're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it the few accordion if I can type accordion, yeah, that way. <laughs> um, and then once we have done this, we get to pick up our preset. So I'm going to manually select some features. Actually, I'm not going to use any of these features. I'm just going to use the default one. So you could have clicked default. I don't know why I did that. Um, and then we'll go, let's install. So what, while this is installing, I just want to say today's uh, sponsor is Affix Space. There'll be a banner at the top so you can see the discount code and check out the rest of the information in the fur. Follow the referral link and you can get yourself some cheap hosting, SSLs or just a domain. So take a look in the, uh, in the, in, in the description, guys. Okay, guys, now that is uh, done, we can go, we can CD into our project. So we'll say CD interview accordion. And then we can, I'm going to run code dot open up my VS code, uh, code editor. Uh, let's also shrink this down. I don't know why I shrunk it. Um, and then in here we can run npm run surf and it's going to start our development server. So while that's starting up our development server, I'm just going to bring this up to the full screen I'm gonna close that and are you ready yet there we are so now if I refresh this page we get the default uh, boilerplate app um, so the only files we're going to need is in the source so if you watch any of a few videos you'll know that the public has the where we're gonna render our to our default uh, where we're gonna render to so we can actually give this a capital we could change the name of this and stuff but normally you don't need to um, and then once that's done, we can go into our components because we don't need them. We can delete those. We can delete our assets. And in app.few, we can remove both of these elements. We can remove the import. Uh, we can remove this component, but we will need components later on because we'll create an FAQ component. And then we can remove the styles because we don't need those styles. Now in here, we're going to write... Um, in our styles we're going to basically set up some resets so we're going to put a start and we're going to say margin zero and padding zero 
what I'm going to say box sizing, border box if I can spell, there we go, and then we're going to set up our body, we're going to say our background colour is going to be equal to EE, a very light grey, and our font family is sans serif. Now that is all we need just there. Uh, normally I'd set up a component for the header, but because I've already demonstrated how to set up a component header before, I'm just going to pull it straight in the app. And then I'm also going to set up a H1, which is going to say few. And then we're going to have a span. I'm going to put accordion and close that span. Cool. And then we need to also close the H1. We can actually put this onto one line because it's annoying me that it's not. And that is good. Also, I want to change my tab sizing because for some reason it keeps changing to the wrong one. There we go. Much better. Um, and that's our header. So we've got a few cord in. Let's quickly style it up. So we're going to say header is equal to a background color of 3C, 3C, 3C. A um, display of flex. Oh, that's again, not it. Uh, justify content. Center. Align items. Center um, and padding of 15 pixels. Hit save. There we go. Everything centered. Now we need to target the headers H1, where we're going to say color is equal to EE. Oh, no, nah, 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 that's not right. EEE, -E -E, our font size equal to 28 pixels, and our font weight equal to 300. Text transform uppercase, although we've already capitalized it. Um, and hit save. Now we're going to now target the last thing, which is the H1 span. And we're going to give this a color of 56E3B8. And then we're going to give it a font weight of 900 pixels. Hit save. And there we go. You'll see we have the few accordion header already in place. And that is all we need for the few header. We're now going to set up one more thing called the FAQs. And that is it. Well then, now we need to set up our data. So our data is going to be a um, set up here, and we're going to return an object, and this object is going to con control our data. Now, um, what I like to do is write in here FAQs, and then we're going to have to rate. But I have that array over here, so we don't have to write it all out, and I'll go through it in one second. <laughs> So, um, in this array, we have an array of objects. We have three objects in here, as you can see, and each object has a question, which is the question to be asked, the answer, which will be displayed when you click on the question, and then the a toggle saying open, uh, which is a Boolean, and we will check if it's true or false. If it's true, then that means we open the answer. If it's false, then we close the answer. Um, and that is all we need right now to start working on this app. So let's create a new file in here and we're going to call it faq.view, that rhymes. And we're going to say template. Come on, don't, don't do me like that. Oh no, I'm just going to have to write it normally. Um, and in the template, we're going to have a diff with the, oh, just a diff, apparently. I forgot to write in my class. Uh, with the class of FAQ. Um, and down here we need to set up a script. No, actually script tags, why? <laughs> For some reason, M, it just doesn't wanna work. Um, we're gonna set up script tags and we're gonna have here a name, just to gif it, and it's gonna be called FAQ. And then we're also going to have props, which are going to be passed through. And in the props, we're going to have a DFAQ. We're also going to have the index. Yes, no, yes, I think so. Um, yeah, so we're going to have an FAQ and an index. Um, and we're also going to have something else, but we don't need it right now. So. Um, in here, let's create the question, which is going to be the header. And in here, we're going to write, um, pass down here, and we're going to say FAQ.question, because it's going to be passed through again. 
and then it's going to be answer and we're going to say faq dot answer so these are how we use variables inside of our template files in Vue.js um, double curly braces and we can use our props here so the prop name faq and then dot answer now if we go back to over to our app we can import this so up here we'll say import faq from dot slash faq in components we'll pass through faq and now we should be able to write faq we'll then say um, so here we're going to say fee hyphen four is equal to FAQ in FAQs and we actually want to wrap this and give this an I and then we're going to also say key is equal to I and hit save so now we should be able to render our stuff to the page So sorry, I'm just reading the code. So we've got fee four FAQ in FAQ. We actually need to pass the, now the FAQ here. Um, it actually needs, no, it needs to be a bind. FAQ and then the, did we call it I? I actually want that to say index because it makes more sense. Index is equal to I. Hit save. And there you go, you see Fink is now on screen. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to break this down because I think it looks neater. So that is all passed through. Um, and now we can. Sorry about that. Um, now we can, once we pass through our FAQ and we've got it here, now we're rendering them all here. Let's style it up a little. So in after our um, little header, we're gonna say FAQ. We're gonna display it as a block and we're gonna give it a width for 100%. So this is gonna let it stretch out 100% of the width, but then we're gonna give it a max width of 768 pixels to stop it growing any bigger than um, a tablet size. We're then going to have to say margin 15 pixels auto to push it to the center um, on bigger screens. Uh, we're going to give it a padding of 15 pixels. We don't want it all stuck to the edge. We're going to give it a border radius. Oh, border radius of 8 pixels. A box shadow because you know shadows are useful. There's 0 pixels, 0 pixels, 10 pixels RGBA. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.2 and finally we're going to give it a background colour of white hit save and there you go, you'll see it's now looking like this um, one thing we need to do is style up the um, FAQ question so we're going to say FAQ dot FAQ or dot question and we're going to give this a position of relative because we're going to use an absolute position on the arrow um, but here we're going to say color is equal to 3C, 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 and the font size equal to 20 pixels, um, which is a good size. Transition all, we're going to say equal to 0 0.4 and linear. The reason we're using linear is because it gives it a smoother effect. If we use ease or the default, which is ease, it gives a little jittery effect, which we don't want. Um, so that's looking a lot better. Now we're going to actually say FAQ dot question after and we're going to set up content oh, content oh can I write content is equal to empty strings we're going to set the position equal to absolute the top equal to 50% and then the right equal to zero pixels but if we left it like that then um, you'd see the 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 arrow is actually further than 50% down so we need to now transform this and translate it by y by minus 50% to give it half of the actual height of the object um, which will bring it back up we also want to say here rotate 
zero degrees just because we're going to be animating it using the rotate property um, so once we've done that we want to give it a width of 30 pixels and a height of 30 pixels and we actually need to paste in our source the SVG so this is the min S3G um, we was using or we will be using um, which we used in our last video so that is just in our root source file we're going to send background image and we'll give it a URL which will obviously be dot slash arrow down mint SVGs which um, we just added to our source I think it would be background position we'll say equal to center we'll say background size equal to contain because we don't want it to be um, we don't want it to go out of side of the box and then we're going to say background repeat no repeat hit save and you'll see the arrow over there now you think that is sitting too high up but it's not the only reason it looks like it's sitting too high up is because we haven't hidden the answer yet so if we come down here and we're gonna uh, we'll say FAQ dot answer we'll say color is equal to 3c 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 the font size equal to 18 pixels the opacity will be equal to zero but I'm going to keep it as one just so we can see what's happening um, we're then going to have a max height of zero pixels um, an overflow y of hidden because we don't want to see it once it's at zero as a transition property so we can animate it opening with 0 0.4 called ease out and we're going to set the opacity to zero if we hit save you'll see it's disappeared and this now fits in um, so now what we need to do is actually toggle it open and to do that we're going to basically it's actually really easy to toggle it open um, we need to set up a at click event uh, which is going to take in um, an arrow function it's going to consist of an arrow function which is going to call a function or a method called a toggle open and we're going to pass through the index and we're gonna, the index is going to be basically our ID which we use to render the um, elements to the screen so down just past our data we're going to set up a methods um, er, er, property and we're going to say toggle open which we're going to set equal to a function which is going to take part an index which we pass through now to to get the FAQs um, uh, data we need to say this dot FAQ so normally you'll just write FAQs right if you to get a variable but in this instance because um, few how few works we're going to grab the this dot FAQs which is going to get us these this array and we're going to say we're going to say it's equal to this dot FAQs dot map and now we're going to map through the array to where we're going to do FAQ I and in here we just want to say if index is equal equal to i so if it's the same as the um, one we've clicked on we want to say faq.open is equal to not faq.open so this is going to toggle that on and off we're then going to return faq we will be doing some more work in here we're going to add an else statement soon but i want to show you working without the else statement first um, now we should actually add in some more stock actually at the top here where our FAQs are we want to say I'm not sure if I have to do this here but we'll say class is equal to open question mark so there's like a there's called a ternary operator and we're going to pass through open else not open hit save and let's quickly just go down here and say faq.open color red dot faq dot open background color red hit save refresh this cool so I just need to double check that we're gonna have to pass through open down a level so instead of doing it here 
we're basically going to pass through here open is equal to FAQ dot open. Oh, that's definitely why it didn't work. Wait, let's re rewind, rewind quickly. So we actually need to say FAQ dot open because FA open doesn't exist. So if we refresh and we click, it still doesn't work. Cool. Just double checking. Just double checking. Um, on click, no, not on click, on. No, we're going to make a class called open, which equals FAQ dot open. That is it. Now in our FAQ, we're going to pass through an open um, prop. And down here, we're going to say where we've got our class, we're going to delete the class. We're going to bind. So this uh, normally you'll do fee on or no, say fee bind, and then you'd bind something. But we can do the shorthand, which is just a semicolon. And we're going to say class. So we're binding this attribute equal to open question mark FAQ open else just FAQ. Hit save. And if we click these, why is this not working? Is my style sheet set up wrong? <laughs> FAQ dot open background color is equal to red. Right? So that should work when we click on that. Let's actually check the console because console is our best friend uh, elements and let's pull it at the bottom. Now let's get the checker, click on that. And here, if we click it, nothing happens. Great. Okay, cool. So at least we've, we've figured it out. It's just the fact nothing is toggling. <laughs> so up here, when we click, we do an at click and that's going to pass through the toggle open. I feel we need to pass this down a level, so I think it's because it's actually on the FAQ. Um, but we can test that by saying console.log cheese, because why not? Uh, console, refresh, click. Cool, so good news, it doesn't work. Bad news, it doesn't work. So we're going to write in here. We're actually going to pass this down and we're going to say toggle open is equal to toggle open. Is it this? No, it's not this. Oh. Now we want to go to our FAQ and we're going to pass this down here. We're going to say toggle open. Um, and up here we're going to set a at click event no actually yes an at click event which is gonna do this dot dollar emit actually I don't think we need to do this we just need to say emit and this is a function which is gonna have a toggle open class and it's gonna say toggle open right Ah, so we don't actually need to do this here. This part, we don't need to pass it through. We actually need to just set up toggle open, which we're going to do toggle open. And then we're going to pass through the um, index, which we have. <laughs> Correct, I think. <laughs> um, and just making stuff up now. Um, so we're going to emit that back up and then we're going to do uh, where we got. So we've got toggle open up here and that's not it. So we need to do a, a catch. Do we want to say at toggle open called an arrow function, which has the index, which then is going to call this with the index. Actually, I think we can just do that and that will pass through our index so in our methods. This should now work. There we go. Right, guys, so because I, I had my React brain on there and obviously it didn't work in the old React ways because few is slightly different. So in few, to use a function, which a method which we have further up in our scope, um, we need to pass it down through a thing. So we need to add an at toggle event. This at toggle event is passed through from here. So this, this emit 
calls this toggle open event. So this at stands for add event listener basically. And the event listener we're looking for is toggle open. So when we click on this FAQ, it's then gonna do, it's gonna run this toggle open, which is gonna emit an event up to the parent here where we can then call toggle open again. And this second parameter here is what is our, um, so it's gonna be our parameter, which in our case is an index. Um, which we're passing up through the thing to get it to work. So that's why it goes red. Good. So now we've got that all working, we can actually remove that red color. Um, but instead, we're going to say dot question after, and we're going to say transform, trans, no, yes, translate y. We still need to give it the minus 50%. And I've also spelled translate right, wrong. And then we want to rotate it by 180 degrees. Now we actually want to move this lower down after the after because that's how it should work. <laughs> and I think we also want to give the question a margin bottom. So we actually want to add a transition. Oh, we already did add a transition, nice. So we want to say margin bottom of 15 pixels. Um, Yes. So now if we click this, you'll see we get that this turn. Oh, it doesn't animate. Why is it not animating? Where's my after? Oh, we ain't got a transition on our after. Oh no. What's going on there? We're going to say all oh, 0.4 seconds and linear. Hit save. And now when we click, you'll see it animates. There you go. So that's the animation. We can reverse this. So it turns running away. We're putting a minus symbol in front of rotate. So when we click it, it turns outwards instead of inwards. I like it turning inwards, so I'm going to remove that. You could also set it to be 90 degrees. Sorry, these are just other things I like. And when you click it, it turns sideways to point at the um, the question, which I kind of like. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to make it a bit faster, though. Uh, two seconds. There you go. So that turns quicker than it actually goes down, but I like it. Um, now, where we've got our FAQ answer, so we're going to say FAQ.open dot answer and we're going to say opacity is equal to one but our max height needs to be incredibly bigger the reason it needs to be incredibly bigger is because you can't animate height you can't animate from height zero to um, height auto because uh, that doesn't work so we actually had to add a max height of zero and a max height of a fan's pixel so when it changes it gets bigger and it actually animates because not only you can't animate auto basically if you've got something with auto in that won't work it needs to be an actual figure so now if we refresh the page and we click you'll see it animates in and animates out same with all of them so now look i can actually open all three now which is actually an issue i don't i don't want that feature so if we go back up to our method here to toggle open so remember the code i said you can add in which will be a one-liner so we'll do this else and we'll say FAQ dot open is equal to false. So anything else that isn't equal to what we've clicked is going to be false. So it's going to close it. So now if we open up uh, this one and we click who is the best superhero, it closes this one too and opens up this one and so on and so forth with all of them. So it doesn't matter which way we open them and we can still close them all too. So everybody, that is it for today's video. So in this video, we learned how to use uh, Fuejs's emit function um, on ClickFin and binding. We've done a lot of binding here, uh, and obviously the fee for loop. So we've created an accordion inside of Fu. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to know as soon as we go live. Other than that, um, don't forget to check out our Discord channel. The link is in the description. Okay, guys. So thanks for watching this video, and peace out. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my